Oh my god, there's a riot! What is that? Black riot! Black Texas! Oh wow! Wow! So sunny here. Um, we're here in Hope Bay, which is a suburb outside of Cape Town. You can see some of the scenery. Um, a literally panoramic view. The girls are here on the beach. It's just literally, it's so beautiful. And to be quite honest, I'm experiencing a bit of culture shock here um i i really am you know this is africa especially where we are in this suburb it's a bit more residential families and it's also located in between two townships right and so apparently not apparently i mean i can visibly see the economic gap in the people uh we were walking through the neighborhood and we can see these beautiful homes, Range Rovers, you know, Mercedes, BMWs, and then you just see people that are clearly um, not okay. And uh, it's 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 shocking. It's it is um, it's a bit culture shocking because this is Africa. Like, this is Africa. Africa is all things. It's just gorgeous. The, the view that I have right now is spectacular. And to think that these same people, of course, that I learned from in school told me this was a decrepit place. This was a place of poverty, violence, gang, you know, terrorism. But it's literally families people on the beach um, in the middle of a Thursday just enjoying life so yeah I, I've been here going on three years and um, Africa just presents so many dynamics being here um, but it's beautiful that my children get to see this just this beauty and they get to make these decisions for themselves of course they do hear me talk about the dangers and violence happening in the u.s which is real right and maybe at some point violence here <sighs> folks is real in certain places it's real um but what i'm looking at right now are people leisurely enjoying their life on a thursday afternoon on the ocean, surrounded by panoramic views of mountains and ocean. And this is their life. Um, could I live here? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I could live in this part. I think this is the, the challenge that I have in Cape Town. The diversity of Cape Town is just um, seems to lack visibility. Again, I could not, I could be, you know, my first visit here, I was with South Africans and we hung out with South Africans and 
you know, that was my experience this time around and with the girls and I'm spending a lot of time with Americans and some um, people from other parts of the world and other parts of the continent, not necessarily South Africans. So that could be why my experience is the way that it is today. But um, yeah, I think there are so many beautiful aspects to life here in Cape Town. Um, I'm just not sure that it vibes with my desire of being surrounded by my beautiful black people. And I think that that's okay. And I'm sure Cape Town won't lose any sleep over it either. But it is beautiful. It is, it's completely breathtaking. But I'll say that I moved to Africa to be around Africans. And it's not to say it doesn't exist. We're, we're still here for another week. Um, and hopefully I'll experience more. In the meantime, you know, if this resonated with you, please be sure to like it and share it with someone who would find value. We're, we're joining live from Hope Bay, Cape Town, South Africa. Beautiful, like, it is stunning. Um, and uh, it has its, it has its shocks for me, obviously. So like this video, share it, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Until the next time, I'll see you soon. How gorgeous. The video does not do it justice. Yes. Wow. Please, yes. Oh, what you need to see? Oh, no, 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 So beautiful it's like oh, amazing we're having amazing time it's a fun family day girlfriends out we're having wine the kids have big cats and this is just like the perfect Saturday afternoon in Cape Town Wow girls that's not a lion baby that but you're close well, maybe there are lions. It's absolutely amazing. They're just so great at catching something out of the air. So, right over here is Tabo. Oh and at the back there is Tandy. They are both 10 years old, male and female brown lions. So, this is almost like a regular coloration, more melanin, but you'd usually find more of them in the wild. Like the longer feathers in his mouth as i mentioned at the start you can't feed because he doesn't like longer fluffier feathers chicken is the only bird that
another 10. Oh, wow, okay. Let's go. Let's go. 